My name is Jan Hoops, and I'm here today with the Janesville Art League, and we are hanging our first abstract art exhibit inside the Janesville Innovation Center. Thanks to Jim Farrell and Mike Matthews, we're here to help them celebrate their first open house and their first year anniversary. And I'd like to introduce you to the director of the Innovation Center, Mike Matthews. Hi, I'm Mike Matthews. I'm the uh, director of the Innovation Center. And Jan, thank you for your introduction and thanks for all the help that uh, the Art League has provided to us. Uh, all the people who have come out today to help us hang art in the, in the hallways and the conference room of this facility. Uh, we started about a year ago and uh, we have seven tenants in the space today. Uh, these are small early stage businesses that are getting started in uh, a variety of businesses and types and we really like the way this theme has come together of entrepreneurship and uh, artistic creativity. That's really what we're about is creating new ventures and creating new opportunities here in Janesville. These are pieces of artwork that have been uh, presented by the Janesville Art League. This uh, has been a, a good collaboration with the Janesville Art League and with the Janesville Innovation Center in the city of Janesville to be able to display some great artwork in our uh, building here and give it uh, a more homey look and uh, it, it all is uh, in our efforts to generate economic development in the city. Art and the arts have a place in economic development and uh, we're really excited, the members of the uh, Innovation Center, to have this great artwork here. It's been very well done. Uh, this uh, has resulted in a, a number of meetings with the Janesville Art League and our board, and we've really uh, worked really well to uh, move this effort forward. So we hope as many people in our city as possible can enjoy this artwork. After we met with Mike and with Jim, we sat down as a committee from the Art League and came together and decided that we really wanted to give as a gift two different pieces of art to be hung permanently inside the Innovation Center. Uh, Nancy McKinnon, Alicia Reed, and Barb Leonard designed the pieces. The pieces that are here today are uh, created by Art League members. Um, they have a very abstract theme. They are bold, they are strong, and it was a very good match for a building such as the Janesville Innovation Center. We're very proud to be part of this exhibit, and um, I'd like to have you meet Barbara Leonard, who is going to talk about this particular piece. This is a gesso piece of masonite, and it has um, watercolor on it, and then the watercolor, because the gesso doesn't absorb the paint, then we pulled off the paint from the gears to create this um, different look rather than just a watercolor painting. This particular painting is a gift to the uh, Innovation Center from the Janesville Art League. Um, the concept was to um, say something about manufacturing and business and ideas. And so we have a light bulb with gears. The gears are coming out of the light bulb and uh, creating uh, this flow of uh, business and success. And so that's what we hope to achieve with this. And um, I, I like it. I think it accomplished what we set out to do. And um, I, I'm hoping that the Innovation Center will hang it for a very, very long time. Hi, my name is Lori Salamone Limbox, and this is one of my pieces right here. Um, I work in many different mediums, from stained glass to acrylics to wood. Um, I love mixing colors and different elements together to create. Um, this piece here I named the Red Sea. I made this especially for the Innovation Center. 
We have lots of artwork out here and would like everybody to come out here and see the work. Everything is for sale. Thanks. My name is David Brickman. I'm a landscape uh, photographer. Um, my preference is to do large uh, format photography using a 4x5 uh, camera. And uh, I shoot in transparencies. The particular pieces that are here at the Innovation Center were uh, abstracts. Uh, the transparencies were uh, digitized and then uh, printed on photographic uh, paper. There are um, a large uh, variety of uh, abstract uh, images here at the uh, Innovation uh, Center in uh, various uh, mediums. And, um, you know, please uh, come out and uh, enjoy the, uh, the artwork. I'd like to just mention that we do have an open house scheduled. Uh, this will be our one year anniversary and a celebration. It will be held Friday, May 2nd from 3 until 7. And then again, Saturday morning, we will have uh, uh, hours from 9 until noon. And at that time, we'll have our companies here that you can come in and meet with and hear a little bit more about what they're doing. Uh, we'll also have a pop-up art exhibit and art show in uh, one of our manufacturing bays that will involve the Janesville Art League uh, artists. And we also will be doing a little bit of a fundraiser that our tenants have uh, initiated. So there are lo lots of things to do, lots of people to see, and we hope that you'll make an effort to come down and find out what we're all about and uh, see what's happening here at the Janesville Innovation Center. Hello, I'm Pam Feitenheimer, and this is my work called Tangerine Dreams. I made this for the Innovation Center. There's lots and lots of creativity here. It's really different, and we'll be excited to see you on May 2nd. In addition to what Mike was saying, at the open house, we will also have artists here that will have materials, and they will teach people that would like to visit how to create their own art, and they will be able to take their original piece home with them. It's fun and it's entertaining and it's a good way to uh, introduce our artists to the community. This has been a real team effort as far as the Art League is concerned as well. We've had artists such as Lori Lombax and Pam Wittenheimer design uh, specific pieces just to go inside the Innovation Center and we've all worked very very hard to make this a success. Working with Mike and, and Jim has just been a pleasure. I think it's wonderful when government and artists and business comes together and they can work as well as we did together. And we all wanted this to be a very, very successful uh, weekend in open house. So I hope you come out and join us. And thank you so much for supporting this, uh, this project. Uh, it's a wonderful economic development for our community. See you on the second.